What's up guys, this is Jake, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can create a Contact Us page inside of your Shopify store. It's pretty simple, and we'll have you set up and ready to go in a couple of minutes. So with that said, the first thing you need to do is go ahead and log into the back end of your Shopify store. And then once you're in here, you need to go to Online Store and come down here to Pages. And then we are going to select Add Page right here. And then we just need to go ahead and name our page. So in this case, we'll just name it Contact Us. And then we are going to come down here to Template and change the template to Page.Contact. And then click on Save. And what we're going to go ahead and do real quick is view the page real quick. And we can see that it creates a contact form right here where the customer can input their name, their email, their phone number, and send us a message. And when they use this form, what it's going to do is it's going to send an alert to our email that we have on our general settings inside of our store and that's how we can reply as well and I'm going to be showing you that in a second but first I want to show you how you can further edit this page so if this is all you want on your contact page then this is all you have to do however if you would like to add some additional text to this contact page you can come in here to content and you can add different things in here if you wanted to put images or anything above the form you could so any text that you type in here or any images that you put in here are going to show up below here and above the form so let's say you wanted to put something like you can call us So let's say you wanted to go ahead and put in something like this, letting your customers know that they can also call you as well. Or you can see. You can type pretty much whatever you want if you want to add a little bit of personal touch or branding in here. And then if I click save again and we come over to this page and refresh it, we'll see that now the text that we just typed in goes ahead and shows up in, on top of the contact form. So like I said, if you want to go ahead and put your phone number or any other ways to get in touch with you there, or if you want to put in an image or anything like that, like maybe if you're a local business, a picture of where you are on the map is normally pretty good. You can go ahead and put that here. So that's how you edit the contact page and go ahead and create that. Now I'm, the next thing we need to do is we need to add the contact page to one of our menus. So we can see on this sample store here, we have the menu up top and we have the footer menu down here. So we need to go ahead and add our contact to one or both of these menus, that way people can find the page. So then we need to come back over here and right below pages, click on navigation. And we just need to select the menu we wanna add the contact page to. So in this case, I'm gonna add it to the main menu on top. So I'm gonna click main menu and I'm gonna select add menu item. And we're gonna click on link right here and then I'm gonna click pages, and then we're gonna look for the page we just created, which is contact us, and I'm gonna click add. And now we can see that I went ahead and added that page right here. And we can see that the order that it shows up in, so we can see home catalog about us is going to be left to right. So we can go ahead and drag on these six dots right here and change the positioning of where the contact is going to show up on our menu. And then we click save. And then if I come over here and refresh again, we can see that now the Contact Us page is in the menu. So if I went to Home and then I went back to Contact Us, we can see that now it's fully functioning. And if you wanted to put it in the footer menu, you could go ahead and do the same thing by adding it to the footer menu right here. So the last thing I'm gonna show you is when somebody contacts you through this form, um, where is that notification going to be sent? So if we come down here to Settings, and then click on general whatever email you have right here so your account email and customer email this is where the notifications are going to be sent so make sure that you have your customer support email in the customer email right here in the account email right here and what we're going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to go ahead and just fill this out really quickly and send a test email to ourself so I can show you what it's going to look like. So if I go ahead and send this real quick, 
I'm gonna go ahead and go to this email account now and show you what it looks like. So now I'm inside the email and we can see right here, you received a new message from your online store's contact form and we get to see the message right here. And if we want to go ahead and reply to it, we can reply to it just like a normal email right here. So this is why you want it to be your customer support email. So that way all of the um, customer outreach that comes through the contact us form goes right to your customer support email. So that's how you set everything up with the contact us page on Shopify. And that's how you go ahead and integrate and get everything rolling smoothly. With that said, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.